Welcome everyone. Today I'm debuting a new segment called Quarter Notes. These are going to be short videos, less than four minutes long, where I talk about my impressions on different music hardware or software or other various musical topics. For our very first Quarter Notes session, I'm going to do a short showcase on Slayton Ash's Cycles. This is a contact instrument that can be used in both the full version and the free player, and all sounds in the video are from Cycles, including the intro. One of my subscribers recommended I take a look at Cycles since I liked Tapes.01 so much. So I did, and it immediately went to the top of the software I must buy list. The biggest drawback though in purchasing Cycles is its price. It's 225 quid, or just over $300 US. So I was pretty hesitant in purchasing it, even though it's very highly rated and looks pretty cool and different based on some videos I watched. After some hand wringing though, I broke down and bought it last weekend on sale, bundled with Auras. I've played around with it for about three or four hours so far. My first impression is a little mixed, because if you're spending that kind of money, the plug-in better be drop dead fantastic. Overall though, it's been a pretty positive experience so far. You can coax some fantastic sounds from this, and more than once I've had some moments where I was just blown away from a couple of tweaks that turned a good sound into something that should really be in a Spielberg movie. And as far as sound design goes, this is a pretty cool instrument that's a lot of fun to play with. The loops that are included are mostly excellent sounding just by themselves, but when you push them through the sequencer or granular engine to mangle them, they can become otherworldly. One of the things I'm having fun with is this bouncing ball LFO XY pad thing that you see here. You get four different XY pads that you can modulate independently. You can use them like a normal LFO, you can use the bouncing ball thing, or you can totally trace your own path if you like. This gives it a lot of flexibility. Another awesome feature of Cycles is to be able to take a granular synth and then run it through a block sequencer to slice up things like the pitch, pan, or reverb. It's a really cool take on adding both randomization and rhythm to a sound, and you can get some truly unexpected results. With that, I'm going to close out the last minute showcasing some features of the granular engine. Stay tuned to the channel for more explorations on cycles by hitting the like and subscribe and enjoy some cycles magic.